In this episode, we're looking at science, plants, and animals as food. In this lesson, you will carry out a task that requires you to identify some plants and animals that are grown to provide food for humans and cite evidence for the need to grow plants and animals for food. Now, source one, food from plants and animals. Some of the food we eat comes from animals, including beef, veal, lamb, pork, fish, and chicken. Other foods come from plants, including rice, wheat, fruit, beans, and vegetables. We also eat food that animals make. For example, chickens produce eggs and cows give milk. Plants produce food too, such as edible fruits. Plants and animals are used to make other foods, such as bread and cheese. So we use wheat to make flour, which we are going to then use to make bread. And the milk can be processed into cheese okay so many processed foods use a combination of foods from animals and plant sources biscuits are made from flour that's food from a plant while also containing butter and milk food source from an animal so how how, how do we get food from animals some foods are produced from the flesh or internal organs of animals, such as beef, lamb, pork, and mutton, okay, the red meats, and chicken and fish, those are considered white meats. The heart, the liver, and the kidney, those are organ meats. Now, most of these foods come from farm animals. They are raised until they reach a target weight, then slaughtered, that means that they are killed, and butchered, cut up, for us to buy, cook, and eat. Most fish are killed or caught in their natural environment. Other animal foods such as eggs and milk and honey are produced by animals over their lifetimes. Now, food from animal sources are high in protein. They are also usually um, high in fat. Vitamin B12 and vitamin D are also present in many animal foods. Now, these vitamins are not found in plants. So, they are, they are you know, animal-based vitamins. Now, cheese is an animal food. Cheese is made from milk. So it is classified as food coming from an animal. Other foods made from milk are butter, cream, and yogurt. Now, how do we get food from plants? Fruit is one of many foods that we can get from plants. Other parts of the plant we use for food include the leaves and stems, such as celery, lettuce, and silver beet, the root, for example, potatoes, carrots, beetroot, cassava, radish, and um, parsnip. Um, seeds such as wheat, rice, legumes, groundnuts, and groundnuts are the same thing as peanuts. In Africa, they call them groundnuts. Um, here, we call them peanuts. Tree nuts such as walnuts and almonds. Okay. Now, food from plants are packed with many nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Dietary fiber is found only in plants. So if we have a diet that has a lot or is high in animal um, food, then we're not going to be getting a lot of dietary fiber as this is found only in plants. Okay. Um, source two. So that was source one. Source 2 now, the importance. So source 1 is telling us where we get these things from and how we get them. Um, source 2 says here the importance of plants and animals in human life. So plants and animals have played an important role in human life for as long as they have all existed. In fact, plants, uh, plants and animals have been used by humans for food from the beginning of time. Why do we eat? Our bodies derive energy from the food we consume. 
So unlike the plant that can just stretch out in nice sunlight and get um, the energy via photosynthesis, we have to consume food to get energy. So these foods that we consume come from plants and animals. Okay, so plants and animals as food. Human beings hunted animals and gathered food for a long time before the formation of permanent settlements. Some of the earliest animals used for food by humans were insects, fish, wild pigs, and deer or antelope. Plants used for food included berries, mushrooms, and various seeds and nuts. Before the invention of agriculture or farming, gathering and eating plants was just as dangerous in a sense as hunting animals for meat. Many plants are toxic to humans and simply picking the wrong berries or mushrooms for a meal could seriously injure or kill that person. So did you know, for example, that Aki, Aki is actually poisonous. If you do not prepare Aki properly, Aki can cause death. The same thing with cassava, right? We all um, hear about bummies and so on and bummy is being made from um, the cassava flour. But if the cassava is not prepared properly, that could also be um, very toxic. All right. So there are actual um, plants out there that are very harmful if not used or prepared properly. Okay. All right. So let's go on. As mankind um, progressed and agriculture increased, plants like wheat and rice began to make up the backbone of the human diet. Okay. A person's location dictated what sort of fruits, vegetables, and grains one was able to grow. So if we're in the tropical zone, we're going to be having tropical fruits and, and, and plants and so on. But if we're in the temperate zone, we would have temperate fruits and so on. For example, the Otaiti apple is a tropical fruit, an apple, but we have the temperate um, apple as in the American apple, right? So we have the, the, the gold ones, the green looking ones and so on. Both apples, but based on where they are, they are going to be different, all right? So where you are kind of determines what type of food is available to you, okay? Now, as humans began to travel the seas and explore new continents, different cultures borrowed agricultural techniques from one another and brought back plants and seeds, new plant hybrids, began to develop yielding larger and more reliable crops so for example here in jamaica the mango is not native to jamaica it's native to india but it was transported on ships from that region from asia to the caribbean okay so humans also domesticated a variety of animals for use as foods for example, pigs, cattle, goats, and sheep were raised by people and uh, diminished and eventually eliminated the need for constant hunting. So instead of going out there every day trying to, you know, hunt these animals, people found out that they could, you know, domesticate them and then raise them as needed. So today, these same animals are used for meat milk and cheese now what are you going to do you are going to use the sources to complete the following activities here are the activities one use both sources to create a table to show the various plants and animals that can be used for food now remember that a table has what rows and it has columns now columns are vertical and rows are what horizontal okay so columns go up and down and uh, rows go left and right all right so remember now you need to show the the animals and the plants that people have been using for food two in ancient times man had to hunt for their food but this was gradually reduced Find evidence in source 1 and 2 to support this argument. So you're going to look into the sources to see 
you know, why is it that we say that this was reduced? Mm -hmm. Three, plants and animals are essential parts of the human diet. Essential mean important. Without these, humans would become extinct, dead off. Using evidence from both sources, write a what? A paragraph stating why food is important to humans, the variety of food that humans consume, and ways in which consumers obtain their food. Okay? Let's go back to the top. So in this episode, we were looking at plants and animals as food. All right, complete your activities. Turn in your assignments to your teachers. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.